everybody, Tiny the Chibi's here. Oh shit, you're not like, okay. So, I forgot what I was, I was, I was gonna check the flow chart. Okay, so where am I? Where am I? I am here. Can I zoom in? Okay. Kiss file. Don't find love struggle. I'm gonna zoom you as a whole. So. I know what I want to do. The question is, should I? Because re going to talk to your friend is important, but making sure the child that's under your care is very, very important. But finding information about the child's mother's killer is also important. And while logically one should go check the child, you know, that's more of an emotional based thing. Or should I go for a logical type choice of, of going to go to the informant? Going to go visit the friend is both an emo is more also an emotional one, but if he's like unconscious, there's no point. And there's no guarantee he'll spill the beans. But this could be the last chance I could talk to him. And a part of me wants to be like, okay, let me just look it up. But I'm like, no, because it's been a long time since I played this game. And I always like to play games like this. Or like games where there's options and shenanigans. And your options determine the ending. Kind of blind. And then once I've done that, that's when I go and after I've played it blind then I'll go pull up like the walkthroughs and be like okay how do I get the rest of the endings because the way I always view it I should always ha get a chance to do everything by myself and see where my choices and my decisions lead me and am I good or do I fuck up so bad that it's clear that I need to do a thing R1 what does R1 lead me to ah it leads me to this shenanigans I wonder if I should turn the sound down I think I'll go for an emotional response. Like, I'll listen to my heart. And I'll go for... I'll go check on Mizuki. Maybe she's talking again. Who knows? It looks all old and run down. Hey, look. It's church day in the game. Speaking of church day... The gaps... Why the hell is she? It's Omi Sagan, Iris's mother. Yes, but why? Why is Mizuki in the background? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Why the? Oh. Why does the child have dumbbells? Mizuki, what are you doing? What's it look like? Bench pressing. She's talking. Can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. That. This is I new. received a Nile message from Mizuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick her up. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Wasn't that last night, though? Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. I, 
I need a moment because I just I'm kind of at a loss for words right now and I'm I'm like I mean I mean this game I guess is supposedly in Japan so the rules are different and whatnot but like I mean I just have to remember that this isn't America. It's not America. It's not, not the United States. The Western viewpoint is not here. It's completely different. So I'm trying to... I need to keep that in mind. Because sometimes some things... I don't know if... Like how it is in Japan, you know. And watching anime isn't exactly the most you know, informant thing, so I just I just have to remember that you know, this isn't America, this isn't the Western world, this is created by a Jeff um uh, is it Japanese? I think it's Japanese. I'll have to look it up though. But it's not America. And the viewpoint and the way cultures are different and thus things are different but I'm like I'm like that is so illegal because you can't maybe they'll explain it you know sometimes they explain things but Mizuki's a minor and the only people who can check out a minor check out a minor would be they're like essentially their guardians so either parents or it would be Dante because technically Dante is her legal guardian if I'm not mistaken though I think he does mention that he's not and they're just roommates I'm pretty sure in the paperwork it would be authorized that he's a technically the guardian or like it should anything happen that Mizuki would go to him because that's pa paperwork and I, I know I'm trying to put logic into a video game but you know I need to have some logic in here okay cuz I'm uh, just any I'm talking because I'm like I need a moment all right let's start pushing things a one seat sofa Board, car, car, cork board. Ability to speech zero. Uh, a desk. Who speaker? Hmm. There was something. This is a nice sound system. Oh, it's nothing special. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple million yen. Oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. You did what? <laughs> That's funny. I paid it off yet. That stuffed animal. It's Mizuki's favorite character. What's its name again? Yeah, that's Adarabbit. You gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. You don't have to tell her that. I'm sorry? He forgot that it's, it's auto rabbit, a stuffed rabbit. Um. Gosh, is there only one bed? A bed! Mizuki sleeps there every night. Also leaves his bed. I've been sleeping here for four years. So he took over my bed. That's an unusual pattern on this cushion. Oh, don't touch that. That's Dante's drool. <laughs> I mean, so they're living in the. <sighs> Child protective services would not be amused. Kitchen, there's. Date, I'm sorry. I looked inside your fridge earlier. Why do you have so much meat in there? 
Oh, I'm on a diet. You <laughs> see, I'm... I'm a recovering vegetarian. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say Atkins diet. I was waiting for it. I am impressed you actually got a laugh. My refrigerator is packed with beer, food, and a bunch of... So yeah. But yeah, the Atkins diet is like... Crap. But then again, I think a lot of diets are crap. Because, you know, I've been forced on a few diets through my childhood. It was not fun. I hated it. I think the only diet I've ever been on and I actually was okay with was the three day diet, which is neat. Because you get to eat ice cream. But gosh dang it, am I hungry. Like, first day, fine. Second and third day are like absolutely a pain in the ass. Because I become, I get real, I'm like my stomach hurts pretty badly. And it's like a lot of proportioning stuff and you're supposed to lose like if you do it all correctly, you're supposed to lose 10 pounds in three days. Um, but a lot of it's because of proportion, proportioning your food and stuff. Um, You're a studious man, aren't you, Date? I heard from Azuki. Whenever she's not around, you're always on your computer, watching training videos. Training videos? Yes, a female secret agent caught in the enemy's hideout or something. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that. Right. Mizuki, did you watch that movie? Only the title. Don't touch my computer without asking. I think... Yeah, I don't think those are training videos. <laughs> I think those were other videos. The not safe for... Not... The not safe for work kind. God, why can I never fucking talk? Mizuki's and mine are hanging on the rack. We have basically one half of that because we're rational people. <laughs> or just... <laughs> I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power thinking about the clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful business parents I just do it. And honestly, Mizuki and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. Is this just a game explanation of why they never change clothes? My clothes are Mizuki. I mean, this is the this is like they sometimes do this in anime. They sometimes do this in video games, where they just show like a hundred and sixty-two freaking. Freaking crap of the same thing. It's like, I look. see you two hang your clothes side by side. You get along well. The dot dots. Those are hanging on the rack. Iron pipe. This is favorite metal pipe. No idea what you use it for. I know I have a metal pipe somewhere. Oh, actually, yes. I bought another metal pipe. It's like one of those magic ones. But I can't fold it back again, which is fine, I guess. But metal pipes are good to just sling around, throw around, and have some fun with, you know? Like twists and twirls and twirly twirls. Though, school bag up the In just a few months, she'll need a bigger backpack. They grow up so fast. Sookie school bag. I'll be honest, I don't remember ever coming here. Look at her. Like, I'm just watching this. It's like... It's like... Those are like big-ass dumbbells for a little tiny child. I'm impressed. Uh, why are you holding the ice pick? Uh, let's talk about Rinju. I sh Fuck, should I have saved it? Oh, I'm out, Mizuki. We wrecked awake. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. Shit, I should have said the other stuff. Okay, so. 
kind of glad I didn't frick up completely. So on the bench press. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. <sighs> She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. Sounds like... I can't like help myself. She would have been the next mom. I'm just saying. Try to, like, Mizuki. not do the worst word first. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Oh, that Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Oh, I guess it was Aiba? Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Which makes sense to invite an adult. Must have been worried about going alone. It's always good to invite an adult, I guess. Sometimes I don't like being by myself, even though technically I am an adult. Technically. That's why I don't like going anywhere. I don't when wanna... I got there, the ice pick was... it was... it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... the only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So you pulled it out? Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. I'm glad she's so okay. it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No. Was already gone when she got there. I guess we got more that information, which is good. To be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Which is still creepy. <sighs> Ow. Hold on. Did I get Sorry, like I feel like something it's like a sharp ping on my foot. There's nothing wrong with it. I just talk to her. Oh, you know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, "Teacher." And then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. She just needed to be comfort. I believe I read this. That? 
notes. A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Has a metal plate in her right shoulder. Hmm. Was it not here? I remember reading in the um, achievement like something about X X raying something about clothes or something. I don't remember. It was something. I don't remember what it was. Can I exit out of her top? Mizuki. I probably should have done it when I was talking to her. But then I don't think she was. She didn't zoom up. I don't think there was an x ray option. How's Mizuki at school? Your teacher pardoned me for asking. Let's do the school. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Sounds like more than just incidents. But huh. I like that about her. She's a little clumsy. And just like Renju. Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but... He described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. So he lives here with me. But I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. That was all left to Renju. He might not be good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking Mizuki. Okay, so I was wrong about Dante being the guardian. But I still think he should be, you know... Um, you said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right, a district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but I'm gonna fix it this wasn't a coincidence hole. that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes, but I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local manager is actually pretty far from here. Pretty far from here, my house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. Wasn't there. Was it. I swear! It's gonna bother me! Is it here? Just do the right arm. Like, it. Oh. Like. Oh. Does it bother you? Can you not move it? No. I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Huh. Was there an accident, or...? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. The nerves died, and... Anyway. The story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. He was carrying a gun. And the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. What? The dream I saw. Summarize for me. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Isn't that wonderful? 
It is. Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Hmm. Is there something wrong? There's a lot of threads. No. It's nothing. A lot of threads. That's kind of weird. It's gotta be Hitomi! Like, I'm gonna have to... You know what? I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna relook at that freaking achievement. Because it's something about checking us. Maybe it was a statue. Because it was like... It was something where you have to continue x-raying it to get a thing. Kind of like how I got I got an achievement for the, the sound system thing. But I don't... I'll figure it out. But that's probably going to happen next time. But, um... Where am I going now? Oh. It's all bloopy bloop. Bloopy bloopy bloop bloop. Um. We'll probably go to. I don't know. I'll um, do a coin flip. Or something. Because, like. When. I don't want Renju to die, but at the same time, I'm like. I need to check on the kid. Probably, well, the information isn't going to go anywhere, I guess. So I guess what I'll do is I'll go to the hospital and then go check on that. But for now, um, we'll end this episode here. Um, but, ooh. And we'll pick up next time. So for now, Tiniest of Chippies is uh, signing out.